What is up, guys? Pro Player Apathy back in the building with another video. Today, it's going to be a story. A big, frightening, scary story I have for you guys today. Something I experienced yesterday. And honestly, man, I wouldn't wish this upon no one. Uh, it's honestly one of the scariest things that's ever happened to me or will ever uh, continue to happen to me because it can happen more than once. Now, for the people who are wondering, Apathy, what the fuck? What the fuck happened? Why are you scared? Why are you shitting your sheets? Well, guys, let me tell you, man. It was fucking frightening, man. It was it was terrifying. What I'm going to be talking about today is sleep paralysis. And now this story, you guys probably heard of sleep paralysis. Uh, for people who don't know what it is, it's basically you're, like, conscious, but you're, like, asleep. And you, and then you're try, and then like you're trying to move, but you can't because your body won't respond to you trying to move, or you can't scream, and nothing you do is working. And you can, you could, you can look if you really. I mean, that was like a, a decent explanation. Probably wasn't the best, but if you are really, you know, wondering what it is, uh, you can just look up online the dictionary. I should probably put like a, I should probably put like something up here. What it really says, but oh my fucking god, it's all the map. But, so, the craziest shit happened to me yesterday. Now, I'm going to try to explain as best as possible, but it was the scariest thing that's ever happened to me in a while. So, let me hit him with the Man of War real quick. Struggle Medic in the building. Pop the... Okay, I think it's three-piece. So, what happened was, I fell asleep, right? Uh, so, I went to sleep at night. You know, nothing nothing crazy. Nothing completely different out of the ordinary. Then, the next morning, I, w I woke up because Maria was getting uh, getting ready for work. And she was gonna she was going to shower. So I was kinda conscious. I heard her going into the shower. I heard a shower running, but I went back to sleep. Before all of this was happening, I was in a pretty intense dream. Now, I have weird dreams, guys. Usually these dreams involve people getting kidnapped, me being some sort of hero. It just it's really weird, like life threatening dreams that honestly they're they're pretty crazy like they are legit like holy shit after why are you dreaming these type of dreams like i used to hate my dreams because of how scary and intense they could be but i'm like i've dreamed oh my god four piece five piece didn't get the six piece holy shit that was crazy but i'm used to dreaming these type of intensive dreams so i'm used to it i'm no longer really scared about it it's just i guess in a way they're kind of fun they're, they're interesting like it's it's different but, so, I was dreaming a pretty intense dream, and, you know, I never, I didn't think nothing of it. So, as soon as I woke up, you know, you know when you wake up, you're like, if you go back to sleep, you can kind of continue the dream. But, it's, how do I explain it? Like, you can continue the dream, so, like, you're, and you're kind of conscious that when you woke up, like, what you were dreaming about. So, I woke up, you know, as I was dreaming about this thing, it, it was like... It was a dream that I was at my house and shit was, and like, I don't know, like some people were trying to kidnap us or kill us and they're like trying to put us to sleep. It was a really weird dream. I, I don't remember at all, like the dream itself. I just remember like the, the sleep paralysis part mainly because it was pretty damn terrifying. But basically that was like kind of what it was about. And when I woke up, you know, I was like, oh, all right, you know, I don't, I didn't really think too much of it four piece why do they keep spawning here they're literally spawning in front of my face oh i'll take the five piece then so this kid got a wraith dude what am i playing holy shit but um <laughs> so i didn't really think much of it so when i when i went when i woke up you know i heard like i said i heard the shower running i heard everything running it wasn't it wasn't nothing really that crazy but then the next part is what really fucked me up i went back to sleep right and now right Okay, I'll get another five piece. At this point of time, I'm thinking everything is like <clears throat> it's. It was weird. Like I was dreaming, but I was like conscious at the same time. It was like, it was like I was like it was like half half. Like I was in reality, but I was still dreaming. It was really weird. It was like lucid dreaming. I'm pretty sure you guys all have heard of lucid dreaming before. It was like that. Like it was really similar to. It's pretty much that's what it is. And I can't believe I lost that gunfight. Holy shit. So. I went back to sleep, and the next thing I know is I literally, it, it was scary, like, I don't even know how to explain it, that's how scary it was. I, I was on my stomach, right? 
I was sleeping on my stomach, straight up, like, laying down. Thankfully, I wasn't looking up or looking to the side, because if that was the case, I probably would have shit more bricks. Thankfully, I was in my stomach. I hear... I hear the, the water running. And how, how it kind of began was, like, I woke up, right, and then I couldn't move. And and I, and then I hear the water running, and I hear, like, Maria's in the shower. You know, she's just showering. And I started hearing someone approaching me, like, literally walking towards me, like, very loud. Like, loud footsteps. You know how, like, in scary movies, it's, like, it's really loud and epic and scary. And then I just hear, like, a little, like, like chuckle, you know, like, like, a, like a silent laugh, like a little chuckle, la evil laugh. And it's, like, slowly walking to me. And I feel like it's someone I know, and it's a, he's about to kill me. And, like, he, he like, in, in my dream beforehand or before it led to that part, like, I somehow got, like, drugged. And that's how, like, it was, like, a, a relevant, like, relevant to the dream. And I was, like, he's coming. And I was trying my hardest to scream, like, Maria! And, like, I was trying so hard to, and I fell off the map. I was trying so hard to move. And like break through and I was literally like giving my all and when I was trying all this my dream that my body like it was so weird like all right so you guys ever how oh, cool you guys probably have you ever had something fall asleep like when your arm falls asleep and you start moving it the blood starts circulating again and and starts flowing and you feel like all tingly and like needles like all over your arm and shit like that well that's how I felt but that's that's how my whole body felt. Like, just imagine that, like, surging through your whole body. you just feeling all that, like, throughout your whole body. Not one arm, not one leg, but your whole body. And it was, like, intense. Like, it wasn't just a little bit, like, needles and stuff. Like, I felt that. And, you know, when you move, like, it's worse when you move. You know, like, your arm's asleep. And if you don't move it, if you just keep it still, like, you feel it a little bit. When you start moving, it really starts, like, tingling more. Well, I was trying my hardest to break through because I was, like, f basically fighting for my life, like, at that point. Like, that's how I felt in the dream. So, I was moving everywhere. My whole body just feel had that feeling throughout my whole body. And it was so scary. Like, I felt hopeless. I felt like I couldn't do anything. I felt like I was going to low-key, like, die. Even though, like I said, I have a lot of dreams that are, like, something like that with me, like, about to die and... You know, fighting for my life and getting kidnapped and then getting robbed out of nowhere and people coming to my house. Like, I, I had the craziest dreams sometimes. Lately, they haven't been like, I used to have them like that all the time. Lately, it hasn't been like that. Uh, just like regular dreams. Once in a while, I have a dream like that. So that's good. But like, I'm kind of used to it. So, I mean, if I wasn't used to those type of dreams, I probably would have been like, ter like more terrified than I am now. But... It was literally the scariest shit ever. Like, I felt hopeless. I felt like this man, whoever he was, was going to walk towards me, literally murder me in my sleep while I could do, while I couldn't do nothing. I was helpless. I, I literally couldn't scream. I couldn't move. What am I going to do? Like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, I saw this survey turn the corner. Shit, then he dr started drifting. Oh, dude, I was, I was trying to get out of there. Yeah, I felt hopeless. It was a really bad experience, and at first I thought this was my first time ever having sleep paralysis. But I remember at least one or two more times in the past that I've had a similar thing occur. I just, I just probably at the time I didn't think that's what sleep paralysis was, so I didn't really like. Uh, I didn't really think, you know, I never, I didn't think I had it. Like I ever got it before, but I guess, but that's what. Yeah, I definitely had sleep paralysis like one or two more times when I was younger. And it trust me, it's something you you never really want to have, especially if you're if you're like if you're up like like if you're like all right, let me give you an example. So I was laying down in my stomach. I don't like stuttering a lot. Holy shit! But like, I was laying down in my stomach, so it wasn't as bad. And you know, I couldn't really see anything. But when you're in that position, you start especially because you're, you're like lucid dreaming, so it's not like reality reality. But it's like it's like a dream and reality. It's like really weird. So you start seeing shit, and you might see a person, a go like a, a, someone approaching you, a black figure, and it's crazy. And that's like your imagination and your mind doing everything, right? It's not like it's actually someone's there. And it's just scary. It might. It's a lot scarier. Like I had, you know, 
I literally couldn't move in my mind. I'm thinking someone's gonna, someone's about to kill me. Someone's walking towards me. I could hear them walking. I could hear them laughing. You know, that's fucking scary. That's really your imagination starts running through. But seeing the person, it's probably definitely slightly a little scary. Because, yeah, your imagination, you know, yeah, you know someone's coming, blah, blah, blah. All right, fuck you, Kirby. But seeing the actual person coming towards you, I got to say, that definitely, that definitely wins you know being the scariest so you know if you ever if you ever have something like that you know try to be calm i was legit scared scared to go fucking back to sleep i was legit scared i woke up and i did not want to go back to sleep right away because you know you always have that you always have that that thought in your head what if it happens again you don't want that shit to happen again it's fucking awful dude it's terrifying like no like no if I'm going back to sleep, that shit better not happen again, and I'll be alright with it. This kid keeps using the knife. But yeah, guys, it was a crazy experience. Uh, today's That's what today's video was. You know, me destroying with the Man of War. And this is a live comp talking about the, this, probably one of the scariest things to ever happen to me. Thankfully, you know, it was just like, it was, it was a dream. Uh, you know, like a lucid dream. Like, it wasn't really real. Because if that shit was really happen to me and I was fucking drugged and couldn't move in my bed and somebody was coming to kill me, dude, you will hear, you will hear, a, you dude, I will, I ain't never going back to bed. But thankfully, dude, it was, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys, probably about 50% of you who are watching, who are going to watch this video, who are watching this video, definitely has happened to you before. You know, if you want to share your experience in the comments below, you can. But Jesus, man, that shit was scary, dude. Hopefully, it doesn't happen for another couple good years, cause I ain't trying. I'm trying. I ain't trying to have that happen to me again, you know. Shit. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. This has been your boy Apathy. Pretty dominant game. Could have, could have got, kind of, probably could have got close to 100 kills, but you know, I was just doing a live comp, chilling, talking to you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.